Good evening. The festive holiday cheer may be in the air, but unfortunately, there is a hell of a lot of pollution in the air too. Let's just break it down for you. Yesterday was the coldest day for Delhi in 2018. When it is cold, <coughs> pollution levels skyrocket. Even my guest out here right now is coughing, and he is from the Amadi Party, which is why today has been the second most polluted day of 2018. Post Diwali, this Delhi and uh, neighboring areas have witnessed the worst air. What's worse? Delhi's air is set to get even more toxic. Pollution levels will go past 500 over the next two days. And emergency pollution measures have been implemented, like construction has been banned, but this quick fix has done little or nothing to help the residents. Before we get into a discussion with our guests, let's just see Snigda Basu's report from the day. As North India woke up to a hazy Christmas Eve, the weather department sent out emergency alerts that warned against any kind of carol singing outdoors. The air quality index was severe at 448, which is 10 times the norm. And even the lowest was at 440, making this as bad as the morning after Diwali. When will it be safe? Only post Christmas. We need to control whatever we can uh, in terms of uh, local sources. Uh, particularly the ones which are contributing PM 2.5, the vehicles, the burning, uh, the gensets. The dirty express air was after an equally unhealthy weekend when the air quality index was 445, as per the CPCB app, or read even worse at 477 on the Safar app. The day after Diwali, it was at 571. The Central Pollution Control Board had to resort to sprinkling water to settle the dust. Today, they've also increased surveillance to find industrial waste dumping or burning, increased mechanized sweeping and stopped all construction. These are very short-term measures that they are taking and uh, with the grab, which is very, very ineffective. These are emergency measures. Okay, for a day you want to do it, but they, these are not long-term solutions. The air is extremely hazardous. And, uh, you know, this, this measure, these measures have to be taken all year through. The air quality began dipping on Saturday and the emergency measures only kicked in two days later. When you're breathing air, which is safe. The air quality began dipping on Saturday and the emergency measures only kicked in two days later. When you're breathing air, which is ten times the safe limit, it warrants preemptive measures, not reactionary. It is a health hazard. In New Delhi, Snigdha Basu, NDTV. All right, let's me, let me just introduce our guests uh, right here in the studio. With me is uh, Bhavreen Kandhari, a parent and a member of uh, My Right to Breathe, which is a national citizens movement to help fight air pollution and save lives. Akshay Marathe is a spokesperson of the Ahmadmi Party and also Bharti Chaturvedi, the founder and director of Chintan, uh, basically an environmentalist. Also with me, I'm uh, really happy to have Professor S. N. Tripathi, who is from IIT Kanpur, the head of uh, Department of Civil Engineering, but somebody who's been doing research around pollution for years and I've been in touch with him uh, through that time. Uh, I just want to go across uh, to uh, Bhavreen first. Bhavreen, if you could just give me a sense as a parent first, uh, not as somebody who's associated with uh, my right to breathe. When a day like this ha comes in your life, what do you do and how bad is it for you? I mean, the feeling of a parent that you're sending your children into an AQI of 550 or more to school or they are practicing their sports, they're continuing with everything because here we are not considering this to be a public health emergency yet. Even after so much who and cry, the media and now in this coming last few years that we've been working on it, still we are not considering uh, this as an emergency. Mm -hmm. Where in uh, whereas in other countries there would be, you know, they would stop many activities. Everything. But they have the it. infrastructure to be able to do that also. Yeah, but uh, we can of course everything can be executed. Why not? Here also we have uh, the fact that I just that want to understand what happens to your child during that time. I just yeah, I because just they, get are, they are they are every every second child is wheezing. They are on uh, nebulizers. They are uh, coughing, and and then these are not only uh, the physical aspect. There are these irreversible loss which we are trying to sh prove with many uh, you know doctors mm -hmm. who have uh, you know the Lung Care Foundation. Doctor Arvind Kumar has been coming and mm -hmm. saying this that these are irreversible losses. My okay. child's lungs are those of a smoker you know, who's smoking 40 cigarettes. Okay. Uh, I just want to get uh, 
Professor S. N. Tripathi on this because he's been doing research on this. Professor Tripathi, if you could just give me a sense of how difficult it is for the establishment, the stakeholders, the government to find a solution to this, especially when uh, uh, the climate is perhaps more responsible for the sudden spike in uh, the toxic pollution levels. Right. <clears throat> uh, th thank you, Amitoj. Uh, see, this has become, a, I would call it as a triple whammy. You know, in the term that you have a very cold temperature now, very calm wind, which is basically causing the boundary layer to totally collapse. And whatever our persisting pollution you are seeing now is a result of very high partitioning into the secondary particulate matter, right? And that is what is causing you have a Western disturbances sitting right on the Afghanistan side. And that is causing that everything is just stagnant now, right? So I totally agree with the, uh, the panelists who have echoed the views that this is unprecedented. The kind of particulate matter I was looking at uh, with some of the network we have installed with the help of uh, some of the, you can call the, um, you, you know, uh, uh, people who, are, who have started working in this area. All right, uh, Mr. Tripathi, thanks for that. We're going to come back to you uh, uh, in just a bit. On versus, I just also uh, don't want to make this a fight, but we have the Amandi Party, we have environmentalists. That is the direction it usually goes into. Uh, but before that, uh, I believe we also have Snigda Basu, who has uh, brought us that report. And I just want to go across to her. Before we get the spokesperson of the Ahmadmi Party, I think it's fitting to talk to the Ahmadmi. Let's get a sense from them how it affects them when the pollution levels are so high. Snigda, if you can hear me, uh, take it away. All right, we'll come back to Snigda. We're having a problem with her audio. Uh, Akshay, I think it's, it's time now to answer that question. We've had this situation for the last three years that I myself have been tracking it. Three years I've been tracking it, whether it's the stubble burning in Punjab or Haryana, or it's the climate, or it's some other miracle. We don't have a solution. And every year, in the winters particularly, we are in this situation. The Amadni party says we have X number of buses, we have X number of budget, the central government has to give us the money. There is no coordination with the stakeholders. That's, uh, let's admit that. I'm asking you, how are you going to ensure that the next generation of children are not going to suffer this? Let's say next year, just short term. Next year, how are you going to stop this? Amitu, at the outset, let me first say that uh, this is a very hyper-technical issue mm -hmm. because no matter what any government does in this period of December, January, the meteorological conditions are so adverse that no matter what emergency measures in the GRAP, the, whether it's odd even or anything else is done by any government, the particulate matter that is being, uh, uh, you know, that is settling on top of Delhi is not going to go anywhere because the climate is such. Sorry, I'm going to let her button. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Firstly, I just want to, uh, with due respect, completely disagree with you. The conditions of the winter exacerbate the pollution <coughs> that exists. If you didn't have pollution, you wouldn't have a polluted winter. So please carry on, but be mindful that you've given us this pollution that is exacerbated in the winter. Yes, our geography is partly to blame, the entire Indo-Gangetic belt. But please remember, we haven't always been like this. So please don't just blame the weather. Go ahead. Blame yourself also. The Aam Aadhi Party is not responsible for all the pollution that is produced in Delhi. But uh -huh. of course, we are responsible for taking measures to tackle it. And over the last year, what we have done is, uh, Delhi has expanded its air quality monitoring stations from 20 to 43. That's monitoring. No, no, but hear me out. What that has done is that it has given us enough and more data to identify 12 critical hotspots across the city. Okay. And all our agencies are now actually working on a war footing yeah. to deal with no, pollution in those 12 hotspots. You knew this was, th I'm sorry, I mean, but you're not working on a war footing. And I'll tell you why. No, no, but let, me, let, me, let me make my point and I'll tell you exactly why. Because you're, you're talking about emergency measures that have come into play. Just, I mean, the emergency measures, what are those emergency measures? You're talking about sprinkling water. Uh, you're talking about monitoring where burning is Absolutely. happening in industrial areas. Yeah. Uh, why is nobody talking about odd-even? Odd-even is something that perhaps may not have worked, but nobody is now even going into that area because it's not helping you get a vote. Votes. 
and we it's went got to nothing to do with uh, it's got nothing to do with ports the fact of the matter is that the epca has a grap in place yeah. and the delhi government is doing everything that the grap has uh, recommended for what the government what stops you from and, going and above the grap okay. grab. Why, why, why but you're not stopping you from going above me, the grap uh, please allow me to finish hmm. uh, the 12 hot spots that i was speaking of i'll give you an example hmm. one of them is in bawana narela where you have 40000 metric tons of Garbage. rubber and uh, metal scrap yeah. lying around yeah. and the government Plastic has also, yeah. yes and the government has been working over the last year to deal with that problem if we had not had those air quality monitoring stations the government would never That's have just, found okay, out okay i'm going to come but, back but, to you and i'm going to come back to you but i'm saying these are the measures that the government has taken no, and no, we're, we're also not discounting that you've not done anything let's get this very clear we're just saying that government after government whether it be the center <coughs> or you the amani party is not doing enough because people are dying literally as we speak uh, and that's that's something is, you cannot refute there is no disputing the fact yeah, that okay, we are in a health I just, emergency I, yeah, okay. well, but but all i'm saying is that there are short term measures and there are long term measures and when it comes to long term measures we just last month released a comprehensive electric vehicle let policy let me ask you a simple question which is yes or no is, is it enough i think it's a it's it was a, a yes or no question it's it cannot be answered in a yes or no it's it's obviously it, more it complex can be, but let's it's, leave it at that i just want to go across to snigda and get a sense from her uh what she has to say snigda go ahead uh you were uh, there speaking to people go ahead right i thought you know uh, what they are saying what we want to highlight is the peak levels of pollution started at teasing on saturday and today is monday so all the ppc with directions which came in today were two days late and they lost in the place is that really enough for us to grapple with air pollution every winter every week today is the second most polluted day ever since diwali but how we really i have some residents with me just to get a quick word from them dorothy what do you think is up actually doing enough for to tackle pollution and i think it's not enough and I'm late to that. They have taken these measures, and we are facing pollution issues. The Bali, like you know, last year Bali also has been really bad, and the government took the initiative to tell everyone to stop burning crackers. We did that, and yet, like the pollution is still there. Whatever the measures they have taken is it has come to date, feel, and they could do more in those respects. Okay, um, construction breaking down construction. Turn around for me. Uh, cutting down on construction and uh, all the other measures. Stop burning wood. Is that enough? Two days later. That's definitely not enough because uh, we need a permanent solution. Because you can see the air quality is really bad. You can feel the air really heavy. Then we can make more measurements, but like then it's not going to fix anything until it becomes like a permanent uh, or air quality refinement or something like that. That the government do the best is put that to good use put that resource to good use right right so i'm thought essentially the sense is that we have the resources why aren't we doing enough we need for solutions just two little plates to this gap arrangement Well, Snigda, thanks so much uh, for uh, talking to us. Uh, I just want to go across uh, now to Professor Tripathi because he's the man who's been doing the research for years so what is the solution You told us about the problem, the the triple whammy that you called. But what is the solution in this situation? See, I totally agree with one of the panelists that see when the average level is so high, when you look at the decadal PM two point five at NCR, this is one hundred twenty plus microgram per meter cube. So as she was rightly telling, that when the average decadal average is so high, any small spike can just bring it beyond ten times, fifteen times. So The issue is that none of the days we had any clean days in Delhi. Now, in entire winter, in fact, part of the spring also, we don't get it. So it's a very complex situation. It's a complex problem. You have to understand. No, I uh, just, I, just, I just, understand just, it, sir. I'm so, just so, trying. So, so just I, I, I'm just coming. I'm just coming to this point. So the point is, unless the governments of Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, and NCR start working together, we are not going to see a near-term solution in that. It's a very complex problem okay sir and the solutions from okay right? i'm gonna, so i'm going to i'm going to stop you there i went with mr arvind kg while on the same flight when he went to meet captain amrinder singh and that meeting never happened uh i am asking you to give us an alternate solution because that solution is not happening four months before elections you cannot solve the problem of delhi unless you are going to stop the pollution sources in haryana punjab as well now this time fortunately there is no burning happening 
but as it was pointed out that there are rampant sources still in haryana right and that small amount of the gaseous pollution is heavily partitioning in particulate matter how are you going to stop it right right so so you have to work together there's okay, no sir. other uh, that's the only solution in your mind uh, okay uh, bharti uh, just want to give you a chance to speak out here uh, you and your team i believe had gone to arvind kejriwal uh, today uh, i believe my right to breathe has also gone with the with the set of demands what was your request and how do you see this panning out so uh, chintan was really supporting delhi's workers uh, auto um, rickshaw walas vendors waste pickers all of them Labors. to uh, yeah really the workers were outdoors to go and speak with uh, advin kejriwal because what's really happening is while we're busy talking about which mask to use and what air purifier to use people whose very livelihoods are based on uh, working 18 hours a day on uh, on the roads are actually being poisoned in incredible ways that we don't even acknowledge and when construction is banned they lose their well those are construction workers their wages. the rest of us are always producing waste so the waste pickers are always recycling our waste hmm. we are all of us who go to office go down and eat the chola bhatura that somebody is selling or the you know the corn or hmm. uh, or the chaat so basically you have all these <coughs> vendors which in many ways 72% of the livelihoods in uh, uh, in urban places are informal so we have a huge informal sector whether it's it doesn't matter who plus the municipal workers plus our police plus our uh, constables these are people who are on the roads this is so their job so you're saying job. we can have a air purifier but they can't they can't so we, need we to went to arvin kejriwal and we had a bunch of demands we particularly Did you meet said him? no we didn't meet him but we were taken five of us were allowed we were put into a police van and Today. we were yes <laughs> met, we met his osd uh, a man called mr um, pr singh who actually said it's terrible the air pollution i agree and in fact why are people getting cancer so early in life and it's terrible it's terrible and then he said why didn't you bring your uh, demands on a proper letterhead now i can't make a file out of this and then he told okay. us to leave right. but let okay. me tell you all we said is we want better public transport we want free 10, buses. buses we want to cycle and we want kuda waste to be composted uh, where right. it's created and finally we want space to segregate waste okay just How give me how difficult a, is that it, it's difficult because the people of the 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 city delhi ncr i believe are not cooperating no. and mm -hmm. is that correct of course that citizen yeah uh, okay we will yeah, let you okay. stress on that i Depends just need to take a short citizens. break i just need to take a short break we will be back pollution Well, there is no solution for it, uh, and we're trying to find one uh, out here on this debate. It doesn't happen in a half an hour show, but this is just a small effort. Stay with us because we're going to get some headway. We're going to try to do that. Welcome back you're watching versus I'm Amitot Singh our focus is on pollution now we don't know who it's against uh, when you say one side against another or versus another we don't know because all stakeholders are involved and perhaps it's the stakeholders those who are the authorities versus the people uh, that's what it's looking like but let's just get a sense of what's going on by looking at a tweet that's just come out of the transport minister Kailash Gehlot of Delhi and this tweet is basically uh, taking back a notification which was increasing parking charges in delhi now the big question that i want to ask uh, my spokesperson of the aam aadmi party out here akshay marathe is why would you do that when pollution is high <clears throat> essentially the decision to hike parking charges was taken with a long term vision that eventually if the city of delhi has to solve its po pollution crisis of which 40% comes from vehicle emissions mm. all of us have to ditch our uh, polluting vehicles mm. and move to cleaner uh, uh, energy fuels mm -hmm. and in that uh, vein we had launched the draft electric vehicle policy we have also launched uh, a very progressive parking policy of which this was one part of that policy i think it has been withdrawn right now because over the last few days there were several protests against this move by various stakeholders it has not been it has not been cancelled so it is being reconsidered uh, it's not it's not at all that's being that's not what dumped. the tweet suggests no if you, if you read it properly it says till the matter has been re uh, examined afresh so it's not it's not that it's being cancelled 
-hmm. is being re-examined because so many stakeholders came to the Delhi government requesting us to reconsider it. Mm -hmm. And as a government that's responsive to so people, we have to take into account. As a position, the Amadi account. Party wants to increase parking charges. As a position, the Amadi Party wants to take Delhi in, into a direction where citizens no longer have to use polluting vehicles. We want the citizens of Delhi to move to. Uh, electric Do you think you're moving fast enough about that? Uh, I think if you look at our draft electric vehicle policy, we have uh, set a deadline of 2023 to make 25% of all new registrations electric. Uh, uh, electric. Right. Let me and ask the environmentalists out there. Bharti, is that enough? Fastest, that's the fastest that any Maybe the fastest, is that enough? Can you, can you do better? Let me ask. I would say how you could do better. I mean, I congratulate you for doing this. Everything you're doing is not useless. Um, uh, I congratulate you. What I would like to suggest is you ban registration of all uh, diesel vehicles in this city and over towards 2022. I don't think they have that in their uh, command. No, no, but they can, they they can, push, the for they can push for it. They can push for it. No, they can push for it. They can push They're for not it. that disempowered. Okay. Bhavreen, any, any thoughts yeah. on everything well, that we've Of course, saying? because Aksh Akshat is here, so Aksh is here, so I'd like to because we don't have anybody from central government. But uh, for him, of course, like I said, I was just saying to him outside also, they're the tree authority, they're, they own it. Do not give any uh, permission to cut, cut trees. They are the ones who are saving us right now. They're the only saviors we have to breathe you know, clean air. Mm. And for the central government, yes. Wh why are these two days of advisory we're getting of construction mm. uh, bans? Why isn't it done all year through? All right, Prof but Professor Tripathi, last comment for you. Uh, I noticed that you were not answering my question clearly when I said what's the alternative to getting these governments of uh, different states working together. But you've been following this for ages. You've been looking for a solution that bypasses, uh, you know, in a sense, the state governments. My, my only question out here is do you think you're also mincing words? We are also a part of the problem when we don't come out hard against this situation. See, I must be very candid that it's a very long haul. We all have to work together, but there are few things we can do in the short to intermediate time scale, right? For example, what is happening? Why, why is these sources coming out now? We have to understand that better, right? We can have some real time sources uh, to understand, uh, you know, the nature of sources, number one. As right. rightly pointed out, we are going to electric vehicles. We can try to stop the trash burning. These are some of the things we can stop in the near term. Right? In the intermediate time scale, we can try to move out all the diesel run vehicles and we can switch to totally electrical vehicles. And okay. we should also try to now have much better controls on the industrial emission. That all right, sir. Totally thank you so much, happening. sir. Right? Thank you. We're completely out of time. Your last comment. All I'm saying is that even today, there are about 30,000 fires, open fires from security guards and other people. Uh, in our city of Delhi. So I'm requesting Akshay that maybe we can try and help them uh, guard under better and more humane conditions when All they right. don't have okay. to burn All right. Point, point. We, we're completely out of time. We're completely out of time. It is yeah. uh, the, the Christmas season. So I'm just going to let you go with one thought. If you want to celebrate, unfortunately, you'll have to do it inside this time. But thanks so much for watching.